Okay, uh, what we're going to do is have a quick look at how we can create a Google account. Now creating a Google account is fairly straightforward, but increasingly what Google are trying to do is so that you only need to create the one account. So by creating a Google Gmail account, you will also have a Google Plus account and have access to YouTube and all of the other different Google services. So the first thing we're going to do is go off and create an account. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone to google.co.uk. For anybody interested, I'm actually using the Opera browser at the moment, uh, and that's purely because all other browsers on my machine have already got um, various Google accounts set up with them. So here I am, and I come here to where it says Sign In. If I click on the Sign In, then it will ask me for my Sign In. However, as I don't actually have an account, what I need to do is to create uh, an account. So here I can go to where it says add an account um, and create an account. And here it's then going to ask me a couple of questions so I can fill in the information. And here I can choose my, uh, my username. So IICT <coughs> Pete 7730. I think that's uh, sufficiently unique. And yes, it is. It's, uh, it's happy to accept that. If I'd have actually used something that already existed, it would have actually uh, come back and told me. Create my password. So here I can type in um, a suitable password. And then it will ask me for my uh, date of birth. Now, again, Google aren't going to come round to your house and check that you're actually the age that you say you are. Um, so I'm going to be pretend to be uh, uh, nearly fit, nearly 60 because uh, I just don't care. Uh, I'm not going to put my mobile number in because um, that would not necessarily be a good thing on a public computer. Um, but I will ask, uh, I will enter uh, an, an email address. Um, so my, uh, and a different email address that I use a lot. And here I can then type in this wonderful little puzzle at the bottom there. Um, and I think that's correct. I agree to the Google terms and conditions and their privacy policy. So again, I can click on next step. And this is how I will currently appear. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and change it so that I'm actually in the, in the United Kingdom. Uh, then here I'm going to add a from my computer and uh, we need to make sure it's of a reasonable size so I can come down here and there I've now chosen a picture and it will upload the picture and I can position myself inside of the frame to, 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 to let that work. Set that as my profile image and there it is that image is now ready for me to, uh, to actually use inside of my, uh, my image. Now underneath here, I then need to go to where it says next step. And there it is, uh, I've now got a new email address called iictp7730 at gmail.com and that is now ready to use. Now the other interesting things to, to point out is that as well as this, I've also now got a Gmail, a G Google Plus account. So if I click on where it says plus my first name in the corner there, then it will actually bring up my thing. Uh, and here I can then start to add people that I know. So if I search for people um, on Google Plus, so I know there's somebody called PJ Reed because there I am. And there I could just click on add. And then by adding someone to the circle, I've added that person to my friends list. Um, I could add them to a family acquaintances or the people I'm following or indeed I can create a new circle so if I was actually working um, in a training environment uh, then I could create a new circle and call it um, the ACL group or something of that nature and create the group and there it is and then I can say well in actual fact um, he's not a friend he's part of the ACL group and so I've now added that person into that group I can of course go and use uh, find friends in other other areas and things of this nature or just continue to add people I know in that manner. 
But there we have it. I've now created myself um, a Google account. I've added people that I, that I know. Um, and if I continue from there, it will also allow me to find interesting pages or whatever else I want to do. So I'm just going to continue on. So I'll continue anyway. Yes, I might be lonely. And there it is. It's now got my profile ready to go. And I can fill in additional information if I wanted to, to uh, allow other people to find me. At the moment, I'm just going to click finish. And here I am with my welcome to Google+. Plus. And there's a tutorial there that I can wander through at my heart's discontent to actually go around and learn more things about Google+. Plus. But at the moment, that's all I wanted to do was to create a Google Plus account. Now to sign out of Google+, Plus, all I would do is click on my picture there, click on sign out, and there I am, signed out of Google+. Plus. And that's all ready for me to carry on working with and to use as I wish. OK, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, then of course you can email me at askpeterquestion at gmail.com. I should also say that that uh, account that we've just created will be deleted because I have no need for yet another uh, Google account. But thank you very much. I hope that helps. Talk to you later.